Party Network. We're taking America back one dollar at a time. Network here with breaking news. The Grand Canyon has stunned the world with his announcement that he will be departing the state of Arizona. We take you now to his statement, which is now in progress. And so with the uh, impending move of the Chicago Cubs from their spring training camp home in Mesa, Arizona, I can no longer continue to support a state whose main tourist attraction will then be me. A giant hole in the ground. And, <laughs> and let me tell you something. Uh, I am old. I am really, really, really old. Like, you can't believe how old I am. But in all that time, I've never seen such a boneheaded move as the one those guys in the state legislature just made with this whole anti-immigration law. You know, unless, of course, you want to count the time the guy threw himself off my edge and then hit a ledge blow and then had to climb off that edge too because he hadn't killed himself and then hit another ledge after that. I mean, we're talking real uh, Coyote and Roadrunner stuff here. Who, by the way, I might add, are actually Mexicans who cross over that border like a million times. And, and let me tell you, John McCain, you and your dang wall, you, you think you're going to stop those two? And, and by the way, what kind of a douchebag term is dang wall? I mean, who says that kind of stuff? I mean, it's as fake as a uh, port stars boobs. Yes, and to recap now what we have learned from the Grand Canyon, Wile E. Coyote and the Roadrunner are actually illegal aliens who have been crossing back and forth over the Mexican-American border for years now. Extreme caution is to be used in the case of Wile E. Coyote, a known demolition expert who is known to carry copious amounts of TNT with him at all times.